China's new Type 076 ship isn't just another big vessel. It's a floating tech lab that has just begun its first real sea trials. This giant platform combines a full-length flight deck with an electromagnetic launch system built for next-generation aircraft, especially drones. In this video, we'll unpack how it works, why engineers say it's quietly a major step forward, and what this breakthrough could mean for the future at sea. The Type 076 stands out because it introduces a completely new design philosophy for large amphibious platforms. Rather than following the traditional model built around helicopters and transport vehicles, it expands its capabilities with technologies typically reserved for advanced aviation ships. The vessel, named CNS Sichuan, weighs more than 44,000 tons, making it one of the largest amphibious platforms ever constructed in China. Its full-length, unobstructed deck visually resembles that of a modern launch-capable vessel, giving it far more flexibility than earlier units in the same category. One of the most significant innovations is its electromagnetic launch system. This system uses controlled electric power instead of older mechanical methods to accelerate aircraft during takeoff. Traditionally, amphibious ships around the world rely on helicopters and short takeoff aircraft, but the Type 076's launch system allows it to support completely different classes of air vehicles, including advanced fixed-wing unmanned aircraft. This transforms the ship into a platform with extended range, endurance, and operational variety. Supporting this launch system requires a highly stable and powerful electrical network. The sea trials are specifically aimed at examining how reliably this system functions under real marine conditions. Engineers will monitor electrical output, power stability, propulsion performance, and deck behavior to ensure that the ship's systems work as intended. Supporting this launch system requires a highly stable and powerful electrical network. The sea trials are specifically aimed at examining how reliably this system functions under real marine conditions. Engineers will monitor electrical output, power stability, propulsion performance, and deck behavior to ensure that the ship's systems work as intended. Another notable detail comes from recent satellite imagery taken before the ship left the dock. Observers identified eight newly painted triangular deck markings aligned for launch and recovery operations. Compared to its predecessor, the Type 075, which focused on helicopter operations, the Type 076 expands the scope dramatically. It retains the ability to support vehicle transport, personnel movement, and at-sea logistics while adding the ability to launch advanced unmanned systems from a full-size deck. The Type 076 was not created simply to expand fleet numbers. It represents a purposeful shift toward more versatile, technology-driven vessels designed to operate efficiently in a wide range of ocean conditions. China already maintains the world's largest naval fleet by vessel count, but ship numbers alone do not capture the full picture. What matters increasingly is adaptability, how many different tasks a single vessel can handle effectively. This ship's design reflects that shift. The primary objective behind the Type 076 is to create a platform that supports a wider spectrum of aviation systems, especially unmanned ones. Traditionally, Amphibious ships focus on transport, emergency response capability, and helicopter operations. By adding electromagnetic launch technology, the Type 076 can support long-range unmanned aircraft, which can perform surveillance, environmental monitoring, communications relay, and other tasks that require extended time aloft. Unmanned aircraft also reduce risk to personnel and can be rapidly reconfigured for different mission types. China's previous amphibious ships, the four Type 075 units, already demonstrated the country's ability to build large marine platforms at scale. The Type 076 builds upon that experience, using the same shipyard and improving construction efficiency. Reports indicate that Sichuan's construction timeline was steady and predictable, launch, outfitting, mooring trials, and then sea trials. Each stage helps validate subsystems such as propulsion, communications, and deck operations. These milestones provide insight into how China structures its shipbuilding programs and how quickly it can move from concept to operational testing. 
Another important technological purpose behind the Type 076 is reliability testing of its advanced electrical network. The electromagnetic launcher depends on significant bursts of electrical energy delivered with precise timing. Having such a system on a ship of this size means the vessel's generators, converters, and control systems must be robust and stable. Sea trials will determine how well the power system handles ocean waves, variations in demand, and rapid cycling. Experts also note that the ship's layout leaves room for future technological expansion. The deck markings suggest multiple launch and recovery lanes, which may allow for more simultaneous operations in the future. The introduction of the Type 076 has broad implications for the future of ocean technology and marine operations. Even though the ship remains in its testing phase, the very fact that it has reached sea trials demonstrates that China is successfully integrating advanced systems into new hull types. This development encourages new conversations among engineers, analysts, and technologists about how large vessels will evolve in the coming years. One key implication is that unmanned aviation is now becoming central to the design of future ships. In the past, unmanned aircraft were often treated as optional or supplementary systems. The Type 076 demonstrates a shift toward building ships specifically around the needs of unmanned technology. This includes deck layout, launch systems, recovery systems, and electrical integration. As unmanned aircraft become more capable, their importance at sea will only increase. Another implication is the emergence of hybrid vessels. Many traditional categories, amphibious ships, carriers, transport ships, are now merging. This reflects a broader trend in technology, the blending of roles to increase efficiency. Just as a modern smartphone replaces dozens of older devices, a ship like the Type 076 can perform tasks that would previously require several different vessels. This efficiency reduces cost, increases flexibility, and allows fleets to operate with greater adaptability. The presence of electromagnetic launch technology on this type of ship also signals a deeper shift. Electromagnetic systems are more precise, more energy efficient, and less mechanically stressful than traditional launch methods. If these systems prove reliable during sea trials, they may eventually be adopted across additional ship classes in the future. Observers are also watching closely to see whether China will build more than one Type 076. Large, complex ships like this are often expensive and time-consuming to produce. But if multiple units follow, it will indicate that the design has matured enough for regular use. The launch of additional hulls would also show confidence in the ship's long-term role. Finally, the Type 076 serves as a preview of the next decade of marine engineering. Ships are becoming smarter, more electric, more automated, and more flexible. The Sichuan Sea Trials mark the beginning of that transformation on a large scale. The real impact will become clear once testing is complete and the ship begins operating regularly. The Type 076 represents more than a new ship. It reflects a shift towards smarter, more adaptable, and technology-driven ocean platforms. Its sea trials mark the beginning of a future where large vessels combine advanced aviation systems, powerful electrical networks, and flexible designs into a single integrated unit. As testing continues, Sichuan will reveal how far these innovations can go and what they mean for the next generation of marine engineering. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.